This is a test of the updated S-meter circuit I made for the Phoenix uh, 612. The existing uh, S-meter circuit here um, can't handle the dynamic range of um, various S-units and I had to go to a use a logarithmic amplifier. So I had to make a couple of mods to the board in order to test this out. First was I created a um, power distribution board here which just plugs into the existing uh, relay socket and a power socket and that allows me to take off power to power the uh, the uh, the S meter board uh, that I created which is just a, a TL072 uh, op amp uh, in a um, logarithmic uh, amplifier configuration. I also created a new wiring harness uh, for the uh, SIGGEN which I converted into a radio controller and it's got all proper uh, uh, cables and the, the, the cables are all shielded so that uh, it'll um, avoid picking up stray RF and creating noise on the board. So what I've done is I have uh, gotten updated the soft software so it can use this uh, log amp and I have got the antenna input of the Phoenix 612 board connected to my uh, signalant, uh, signal generator. I've got a 50 dB attenuator in line here and so I can um, I can uh, go right down to almost minus 100 dBm and feed that into the um, the board and then measure the various S levels coming out. For the first S I'm going to feed in minus 47 dBm uh, plus the 50 which will come out to minus 97 uh, dBm which is a S5 uh, signal level and I'll check that against what the um, software is saying that we're, that we're getting. Right there, this software is kind of struggling to pick up that level. So we're down, saying it's around S2, S1, S2. So it, uh, it's, it can't really pick up uh, down to an S5 signal level. It's having problems doing that. So this next test, I'll be feeding in minus 41 dBm with the uh, 50 dB attenuator. That's minus 91 dBm, and which will be an S6 signal level and the uh, software is saying it's uh, you know it's approaching an S5 so it's fairly close to an S6 uh, signal level. This next test I'm feeding in a minus 35 dBm signal which is going to be a minus 85 dBm signal going into the board with the 50 dB attenuator connected in line and that should be an S7 signal and uh, the board's come back and it's pegged at S6 so it looks like it's a reading uh, about an S unit lower one or two S units lower um, than what's uh, actually being fed in but still not too bad it's it's close we're getting there so I'm now going to feed in a uh, minus 29 dBm which is going to equate to an S8 signal, that's a minus 79 dBm signal that's being fed in, into the board. And the software is showing that it's an S7 signal level coming in, which again it's a little bit lower than what I expected. It's 1 dB lower, but uh, again it's not bad. I'm now feeding in an S9 signal level. and the software is showing an S8 level. So I'm now feeding in 10 dB over S9 and uh, it's coming up one bar above S9 which is 10 dB above S9 and I just marked that as an S10 so that uh, seems to be bang on. So now I'm feeding in 15 dB over an S9 that's what the maximum that I can uh, get out of that uh, amplifier, the maximum out output of the log amp, because if I go anything above that, uh, I'm generating 
a voltage over 5 volts which could damage the Arduino uh, ADC. So at that point that uh, saying again it's S10 uh, S11 would be a S9 uh, 20 dB over S9 which is a minus 53 dBm signal so right there I'm kinda hitting the limits of the upper scale of what the um, that new board can see so I think there's definitely a little bit of room for improvement here but uh, this is the circuit it's a lot better than the prior circuit I had at least I'm getting a little bit more consistent values and I think with a little bit more work we should be able to get a fairly decent S meter on the uh, Phoenix uh, 612